Hi, this is Justice, and in this tutorial for Rebel 4, we're going to be looking at the Navigator panel. So how to use the Navigator panel, what are the keyboard shortcuts, and what else can you do with the Navigator panel besides navigate? Now here in the Navigator, I have this rectangle, and this rectangle is going to allow me to just go exactly where I want later. Now I'm going to draw a little X here in the corner, and I can use pinch to zoom, two finger drag, pinch in and out, and the canvas can go as high as 2000% zoom. It's gonna give me a view of the entire canvas, so I can quickly drag on the navigator over to the little spot that I want, and this way I don't get lost. It's a map. If I click on reset zoom, keyboard shortcut zero, that's going to bring me to 100%. If I click on fit to screen, keyboard shortcut period, that'll fit it to screen. And here I can zoom in incrementally with plus and minus, as well as rotate incrementally by clicking these clockwise and counterclockwise icons. You can adjust the rotation granularly here, as well as zoom granularly here. <laughs> now all of these keyboard shortcuts you can find in keyboard shortcuts here in view. And you can see these right here if you want to add something in order to uh, rotate clockwise or counterclockwise with a keyboard shortcut, you can click here and add that in right there. If you want to reset that, click on the reset icon. And if you want to flip the canvas, you can flip it by clicking this icon. The icon, you'll notice, stays blue when the canvas is flipped. Now note that Navigator has an option for grayscale. You can look at the entire canvas in grayscale with the keyboard shortcut G. All right, that's everything about the Navigator. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please do. And again, have a wonderful day. And until next time, stay creative.